All right, so I got these chrome exhaust tips here. I got them off of a car that I'm actually parting out and they were like a gold bronze color. I'm pretty sure that's just from like the clear coat on them getting old. Took it off with some fine steel wool and there it is. There is some scratches in there like some swirl marks from me taking off that clear coat. Um, the only metal polish I have is, is this Mother's Billet metal polish. And uh, I'm pretty sure I need a polish that's meant for chrome plating and not for the billet. But, I mean, for the most part, it looks pretty good. I don't know if you guys can see the clarity in there. Some scratches not letting it shine to its fullest potential. But I really wanted to put these on. They just look more aggressive. And I think it'll be a nice little touch, a little detail. I will replace the whole exhaust system later, but I mean, this is a free mod, so why not? Let's go ahead and check out the OEM ones. Okay, so here's the OEM tips on here. See, they're just rounded off. They don't have an edge to them. Looks pretty basic. I mean, it's still a nice little touch because it is a chrome tip. It's better than not having anything. Okay, I don't know if you guys saw what happened there, but the heads to the uh, exhaust tips actually broke off because of the uh, rust. I got the Dremel here, got the cutoff wheel cut on each side of the uh, nut and the bolt that stuck in there and then just bent it with the screwdriver to get it off of the exhaust and just slid it right off and did that to both of them gonna throw on the other exhaust tips how it's looking looks better to me you know it's not like a huge difference I guess I mean a lot of people probably won't notice it but to me it just looks a little bit more aggressive I know it's just tips but you know all right time to give this thing an oil change because I'm pretty sure it needs it I don't remember last time I gave it, well I do remember last time I gave it oil change, but I don't remember the mileage. I'm guessing it's around 3,000 and 3,500 miles. So for sure it needs one. And yeah, basically I just change out the filter. I mean I still drain the oil, but this thing is really burning through oil. Gotta do something with this, well the engine. But for now, oil change. All right guys, so let me show you what I'm doing right now. I don't recommend that anyone does this. Just go ahead and buy new ones, but check it out. Okay, so I'm swapping out the front tires to the back, just on this side. My tires are really bad, and my steering wheel pulls pretty hard. Pretty dry rod, already seeing some separation on there. But um, check it out. All right there, all worn out. And some more separation. But these tires need to be replaced. But as of right now, I do not have the money for it. And what is this? And I got something in my tires here. Just check this out. I'm about to probably start hitting the, uh, the wires. Actually, you can see it right here. But these are looking bad. So I'm gonna throw these to the back because I'd rather have the rear blow than rather my front. So here's the rear tire. Just notice I have something metal in here too. 
I'm going to worry about that, but it has a lot more tread than my front ones. Looks a lot better though. But, I mean, they still need to be replaced nonetheless. These are dry rotted too, separation. Like I said, just need it to last me a bit more longer. All right, so I torqued everything down, got the rear tire in the front and front tire in the rear. Actually, looking at the front tire now, that was the rear. I think the rear might have some blown shocks because it has like that, I think they call it feathering, where it's like that. But it's kind of a weird angle, it's kind of like sideways. But at least it has more uh, tread in the front now. There's quite a few things that need to be worked on on the car, not gonna lie. And still the number one cylinder is still burning oil. It's actually burning more oil because I check it every now and then. I don't do a lot of driving. And um, so, you know, you would think with not a lot of driving wouldn't burn that much oil, but it does. So there's a few things that need to be done. The AC, power steering, uh, the engine, tires, ball joints. But, I mean, it still runs, you know. I'm still using it as, like, my daily car to go to the gym, go to work. I can't change them or buy new tires right now because, um, well, I mean, I think you guys know the struggle of that broke boy lifestyle. And, you know, things got to come first. Food has to come first. Bills got to come first. One week later. Today, I'm actually already working, well, cleaning my wheels because I got tires delivered to me today but um i'm just cleaning the wheels right now because tomorrow i'm going to get them mounted up and i just want the the back of the barrel to be clean i got one wheel right there about to be cleaned up and i finished the driver's side you guys can see the barrel i don't know how good you can see that but it's pretty clean not the best but I already know it's real bad back there and probably takes on some, some time. Let's just clean it up. Got this other one cleaned up. See it's pretty clean back there, just those regular spots you get on aluminum. And here's the tires, got some Firestone Firehawk ND500. And the size on these is gonna be 205.50. R16 these are 340 tread wear tires and I heard a lot of good things about them so hopefully they're pretty good you know I just really use them for the street maybe some spirited driving but um I'm pretty sure it can handle what I throw at it nothing too crazy what is up guys it's the next day about to get these uh, tires put on Got the boys all loaded up back here. Got one in the trunk. And um, I'm pretty excited because, man, I really need these tires. And um, I just want to see the performance of them overall. And, you know, it kind of changes the look of things uh, on your wheels when you get different tires because sometimes the sidewalls are different and they look a little bit more beefier. But hopefully they look a little bit beefier so this car looks a little bit more sporty. And, um, yeah. Let's go put them on. All right, so I washed the car up and uh, cleaned the wheels because they got a little bit dirty. And plus I didn't clean the face of them the other day when I washed the, the back of the barrel. So clean the whole car up and let's take a look at it. There she is. I don't know if you guys can see tires in the shadows but definitely looks a little bit beefier and just looks like a more aggressive tire see it better from this angle a little bit in the tires I like the look the tires have you know, tires ain't something you look at right away, but it makes a car. Now 
now this car is finally what I imagine it to kind of look like you know where I'm kind of comfortable at obviously I want to do more to the car but to me it just looks like a real nice clean prelude you know automatically when I look at it see the sporty tires I like the body style see the sun visors has tint ceramic tint clean interior Broadway mirror JDM cluster touchscreen five speed swap of course got the uh, the solid bushings the shifter bushings very nice clean install on the swap feels uh, shift logo JDM ashtray Got the JDM cup holder, leather interior, rear JDM ashtray, just real clean overall. And of course, it got all the transmission work, LSD carbon synchros, no leaks on the engine, JDM intake, Downstar hardware. You know, there's a lot of work in this car, but it still looks like your everyday daily driver but just a real clean version of it I think this car is a real good example alright guys I appreciate you viewing this video and um, overall the car feels like a whole different car to be honest with these tires it grips I, I just didn't notice how crappy the tires I had were actually for sure what I throw at this car I mean those tires can handle it because they grip pretty good I'm pretty satisfied with the buy and I mean now just to see how how fast they wear but I mean I'm not really worried about that I'm not really worried about getting the most miles out of tires but you know I'm pretty sure they're gonna meet my expectations or maybe exceed them they already exceeded my expectations on as far as grip wise and performance wise but I mean I would recommend them to anyone hopefully you guys enjoy the progress the little progress I made with this prelude of course there's more things to do but that will come later on but hopefully you guys enjoyed it give this video a thumbs up subscribe but alright guys hope to see you guys on the next video alright